In this video, we're going to learn about ECDF plot. Let's first understand what does ECDF stands for. So here we have ECDF. It's nothing, but it stands for Empirical Cumulative Distribution Function. Let's have a look at its definition first. It says it, this particular plot represents the proportion or count of observations falling below each unique value in a data set. Confused? Let's understand this with an example. So here we have the MART data set, our favorite one, and we will look at the column gross income. This data frame has 1000 records. Now we need to check what proportion of this 1000 records falls be below the gross income of 10. Similarly, what proportion of this 1000 records or transactions fall below 20 and similarly for 30. It will be difficult. Either you can do group by or something like that. You can do all those stuff to check it. But that's where ECDF makes this task very simple and smooth. How is that so simple? Here you have your ECDF drawn. Now your first statement was check what proportion of the transactions out of 1000 are below 10. So let's have a look. This is somewhere 43%. 43% of the transactions are below 10. Similarly for 20, it is 70%. 70% out of 1000 records are below 20. Similarly for 30, it is 86% means out of 1000 transactions there are 86% of the transactions which would be somewhere 860 those all are below 30 all right below or equals to 30 so this is how ECDF plot helps us to check the distribution of our data hello everyone welcome to the channel and to understand the concept very clearly please watch the video till the end once you are done with watching the video do not forget to like comment subscribe and hit the bell icon here ECDF plot accepts all these arguments out of this we will learn all those which are most frequently used and are very important let's jump to the Jupyter notebook and try to understand this with an example like we have been doing in all of our videos we have already imported all the required libraries and then we have our data mart also imported Le uh, sorry imported let me just show you a sample of this data by taking head of this right so this this is giving you the idea about data how the data looks like now let's draw the first ecdf plot how can we do that so simple sns dot ecdf if you see it is just slightly arranged in alphabetic order it happens c d e f so after d e comes here what it is happening is just e is in the beginning okay forget about that now let's just use our data frame which is mart and the column which we need to use on x axis is going to be gross income now let's plot this oh oh what happened here the name is not correct now this will work here we just got our first ecda plot created now it's the same as i just showed you in the picture now let's try to categorize this try to group this basis on gender I mean, uh, if you want to classify this further, then you can just use hue and in that you can use gender. And now you have two ECDF curve to represent the data. For, for example, if you want to check out what proportion of the transactions are falling below 10 and the transactors are male only, then you can refer to this orange line. Same thing, if you want to check for female, then you can refer to the below blue line. All right so this is how you can group a gross income or maybe cre uh, create separate category of ecdf curve in the same plot now by default this gives you the proportion of the data right if you want you can also change it to count there are two stats which you can perform over here by default it is proportion but you can change it to count 
so previously if you notice it was showing you the proportion over here but now it is showing you the number of records how many number of records are falling below what numbers okay so this is how you can use the stat function as well further if you want to switch the axis for example if you want to show the count at x axis and all this now gross incomes are on y axis that you can also do all that you need to do is just change the axis over here that's it now you have that switched here you see the gross income and here you see the counts of those transactions so this is it in this uh, particular plot video and uh, we will see the further uh, plots and in that we will learn how can we combine them how can we use them all together thank you very much for watching this video i just hope that you liked it and you're going to use that in your day-to-day -day work it's going to be very interesting and helpful all the best for future practices keep on practicing and keep on watching this video thank you